is my first year as a part of AmeriCorps. And of course, my first year as a part of Project Change AmeriCorps. Um, I served at Gaithersburg High School with the METS program. That's a program for English language learners that have had discontinued education. So my first steps towards AmeriCorps began about a year ago. I was finishing up my bachelor's in science with secondary education, as well as my semester in, um, as a student teacher. At this point, I thought I would have been excited to start my first year as a teacher, but I, my experience wasn't what I thought it would be. I felt so lost, anxious, and defeated. I spent all summer, and I'm telling you, all summer, <laughs> okay, trying to get my life together because in my head, at 20, like, you know, I'm supposed to have it all together and all planned, and like, it's, but I was wrong, so wrong, okay? So after spending all summer applying for these jobs, I realized I didn't like any of them, none of them. I didn't like going to a lab and going pipette, 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 whatsoever. It was not my thing. So at that point, I really had to reevaluate what I wanted to do with my life. Why did I want to be a teacher in the first place? And I remember my eighth grade teacher, Ms. Ziegler. And she had given me this big speech to remember. It's, it's like the speech at the end of As You Like It, Shakespeare's As You Like It. Um, and she didn't give up on me when I forgot it. She let me try three times, and the third time I tried, she was like so proud of me, and you could see all the pride in her face, and all of my classmates were like, you did it, you did it, and I was like, yeah, I did it. And I felt so good about myself, and those are the feelings that I wanted to give my students. I wanted them to feel proud of themselves, to recognize their value in their thoughts and in their talents, and that's why I wanted to be a teacher, and I was like, I have to find that again. I have to find a way to get there again, to that passion that I had. And so I remembered that my Marymount University supervisor, that teaching hadn't really worked out for her. And she did AmeriCorps. And so I was like, well, if that worked for you, maybe it'll work for me too. So let's give it a try. And I Googled away and I found um, Project Change in Montgomery County. And Paul sent me an email with all the options I could choose. And the METS program just felt perfect. It was. You know, ELL students, it was in a science classroom, and I felt like I could finally experience what my family had experienced coming to this country as, you know, older teenagers who didn't know any English and had to try learning at school, learning English. And I was like, let's give it a try. It really felt like a full circle situation of my parents coming here not knowing English, and then me teaching those students. Um, so I would like to share a story of my time at Gaithersburg. Um, we were in our horticulture class, okay, and we're learning about plant seed dispersal, how plants can get their seeds as far as possible to survive. And so the students, they have to make their own seed, and they get to use paper and plastic and paper clips and glue and tape and all this stuff. And they make it, we give them a couple days, and then on the final day, we'll get to throw it in front of an industrial-sized fan and see how far it goes. The winner takes the prize a whole dollar. Okay? And we gave them a couple of days. But right before they had to experiment, they had to explain why they made their design the way they did, their inspiration. So I go from child to child getting their answers, and I come to a table of two girls, Siomara who is the most confident girl you will ever meet in your life. And then Jackie, who's super shy. She's very quiet, doesn't give me very much. And I get there, she might goes, oh, I did this. I did a flower design. It'll be great. And I was like, okay, great. I asked Jackie, why'd you make it? She said, um, that is flower, flower design. I was like, oh, how convenient, the flower design just like Sumata. And I ask her, oh really? A flower design? You finished yours two days before Siomara. How'd you get a flower design? She was like, miss, I don't know why I chose that. I don't know why I made it. I was like, yes you do. Of course you do. You know why you made it. You made this amazing project right in front of you 
and you know why. She's like, I don't know, miss, I don't know. I'm like, yes, you do, I'll be patient, I'll wait. I'll sit right here, go ahead, think about it. She thinks, she says this, she does this to me. I said, propeller, propeller, she said, propeller. Helicopter, helicopter propeller, she says, helicopter propeller. I was like, amazing. See, you had it in your head all along. And she's like, thank you, miss, thank you. And that was just amazing. It was perfect. It was such an impactful moment in my life. And I can say that at the end of this experience, that building those relationships with your students, yeah, the content's important. I love science, I love biology. But the relationship that you build with these kids is amazing. And I'm so grateful that I got this tie with AmeriCorps. <laughs> and that when you're at your site and you're wherever you are, you're going to have tough days. But it's like the little victories that you get with these kids, like a thank you. Oh my God, it's amazing. And so, you know, I'd like to say I'm grateful for seeing these kids grow. I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful for my team for hearing me whine every Friday about my stress. Um, and I'm thankful, you know, to the directors of all these programs. You know, you guys really make a difference, especially um, to MHP and Saturday School. Because as a child and as a teenager, I spent a lot of time with both of those programs that I had no idea were a part of the mayor for. Um, but I just want you to know that those programs, they make an impact on kids. All of these do. Um, and Paul likes to call him me his, his poster child because he's like, it works, it works. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm just so thankful for this opportunity. Um, and I'm thankful that my family's here and my friends. And yeah, have a great dinner, everybody.